Hello, this is Intuitive Canvas, back with another message for my viewers. Thank you, YouTube, for coming to support me on my channel. And if you would be so kind, like, subscribe, and give a comment. Let me know what you think of the videos. Today, I am doing a general message for you. And this general message is for whomever it is I'm speaking for. If this message does not resonate with you, uh, please feel free to go to other readers, other people who have messages, and I'm sure that you'll find one that meets your message or what you want me to convey to you. All right. So, I have meditated and prayed over the cards, and the first card that came out was stress. Someone is experiencing a lot of stress. Some exhaustion, mental, physical, and spiritual exhaustion, which led to burnout. This could have been due to a charming person. The card that came out was Prince Charming. Uh, Prince Charming, as we know, is a fictional character. And so um, I, when I created these, because I read from cards that I create, when Prince Charming came out, this is a fairy tale person. So basically, it's someone who came with a fairy tale for you. Um, it could have been a Princess Charming who came and spun some lies to you, um, who took away what was left of your innocence. This person was full of sexual excess or excess. And this person put you in isolation. But there is a joyous outcome from the rivalry that you had because this person put you in competition with other people and rivalries. Um, that's what I'm picking up from this energy. But you are going through a rebirth and transformation and freedom is coming. This Prince Charming was very aggressive with you when they didn't get what they want or this Princess Charming was very aggressive with you when they didn't get what they wanted from you. Um, so let's go into some more messages here. All right. The reason why they were able to put you under such stress was because you had weak boundaries. You, again, had some innocence when it came to love. And so um, you just felt like, okay, if this person loves me, okay, um, I'm going to just love them. I, you didn't really have any boundaries when it came to love, and they took advantage of that. They wanted you to compromise what you believed in. They wanted you to compromise how you live your life so they can get what they wanted. All right, so let's see what other messages. What messages for spirit do you have for my people? So, you had conventional expectations, and you had have the strength deep down inside yourself to love again. You may not feel like it, or feel like you want to love again. But there is someone who's coming that will give you the strength of two people. You have a purpose. You and this person together. And it will be a deep love. The person that you with loved the luxurious life in London. So they lied, cheated, and schemed to get that luxurious life from you. After they got it, they went back out to their third parties, to their lavish lifestyle, um, with the excessive sex, with multiple partners. They may or may not have brought back sexual transmitted diseases, or they may have got it. Um, they were codependent 
which they liked the luxurious lifestyle, but they didn't have the means to get it themselves. So they got it from you and the people that they worked their charm on. So right now you're taking a break, taking a break from love, taking a break from this person. But this person is going to come back because they're codependent. They, they need to have money. You had nightmares when this person was around because they were doing witchcraft against you or the people that they were around. Or it's not even necessarily witchcraft. I, I don't want to keep going into that, but that seems to be a theme that's coming out in, in the readings here lately. But the nightmares could have been of, you know, you when you intermingle your soul with someone you have intimate relations it's not people try to say oh sex is just sex but it's not it is a spiritual entanglement it is a soul tie and when you are with someone who has been with multiple people they have multiple soul ties and when they're with you you pick up those multiple soul ties so then you're not wondering you're wondering why all of a sudden you have things and things are coming up in your personality that was never there before depression aggression anger um uh you know different thoughts and dreams these things come from these soul ties this person that you were with was multitasking um that meaning they were with multiple people this person was having children with multiple people this is just fertility abundance now you may have children with this person or um but i know that this person has children and has children with multiple people right now you're feeling isolated we talked about that before but there is going to be a reunion between you and this person i would say use wisdom um this is not the type of person that you want to have um coming up in your life again just to put more a uh, stronghold in the human bondages on you um by this time they've been with more people um which is more entanglements, more soul ties that they have, which they will pass along to you if you are intimate with them. You have a sense of loss, regret, and grief from being with this person. You miss this person. You regret being with them. And some of you regret letting them go because when you have a soul tie, it's, it's tough and you miss that person. But you need to exercise self-love or you're going to have new conflicts with this person. You're a generous person. Um, so they know that you're going to come. They're going to come with some sob story um, as they come with an apology and apologies for what they did. Oh, baby, baby, I'm so sorry. Um, you're my wish come true. I'm sorry I broke your heart. I was just in a bad place. They're going to say everything that they can say to woo you back. But there is someone for you. And you're going to be able to have your wishes really come true with the next person who won't be Prince Charming. Because Prince Charming, as I said, is, is a fake, fictitious person that was made up by the fairy tale industry um if you if you look at prince charming in the movies he really didn't have that much depth to him he went out and he seemed to just be walking around you know mindless and brain dead um but he knew the right things to say um he might have been able to slay the dragon um and everything like that but you never really got the story on who prince charming really was he was just someone that came in there to seemingly save the day and rescue the princess. And then they lived happily ever after. The person that you learned a lot about and who had a backstory, who had death, was the princess, was the empress, was the, the, the female person in the story. And nothing against men, because I believe men can be in a situation with the fairy tale uh, lifestyle. One second fairy tale lifestyle and um and dream 
and the the prince princess charming comes in with not that much depth not that much backstory um you never really get to know who that person is and in the fairy tales you never really get to know who the prince charming or princess charming is you know they're very shallow characters and in real life they're very shallow people you you, you just don't get below the surface level and that's what this happened here um so take the time to master your skill or your craft because you are very gifted and a lot of times the prince charming characters come because you do have a skill you have a purpose you have a calling and they want to suck that up because they don't have it and a lot of it is that they're jealous of the fact that you have these things sometimes they feel like you shouldn't have these things and they don't know what you've been through to get what you've gotten um you know to to get these skills the time that you spent in school the time that you spent working your craft the time and the sacrifices that you made um to get there a lot of them had you working 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 day and night and they were sitting around or laying around with any and everybody. They, these are the types that don't really like to work. I mean, if you really look at uh, Prince Charming, he didn't really have to work. He was just riding around on his horse and killing those and hunting and things like that. He really did not have to work for anything. Um, he really did not. But the one great seemingly thing that he did won your heart because they slayed the dragon for you and that might have been the most strenuous thing that the person ever did and if you look at it most of the time they almost they almost lost the battle because they never really had to be in true combat and have that so the thing about it is with prince charming he comes in he charms you he love bombs you um, conflict comes in your life as it naturally does because you have to overcome all of these things and obstacles and then this person comes in um, and helps you and saves the day where you don't have to do the work and so now you're falling deeper in love with this person and you're like wow they're really for me but they're really not um, so work on your craft because when you work on your craft you'll start to enjoy your employment whether it's self-employment or you work for someone else, watch your friends because it's saying that uh, false friends and traitors came out. Um, but I am showing that you are a supportive leader. Um, a card fell on the floor um, out of the deck and it's saying a final decision. You need to make a final decision on what you're going to do um, in this situation when this person comes back because they're going to come back. They always come back. They, they make you wait for a while um you know long enough for you to miss them and really you know feel desperate for them and then they come back with the charm like they did before but this time they're instead of them being a new person coming in they're coming in all apologetic oh i want you i want you to be the person that's in my life forever i want to build a life with you they spin this fairy tale story um they spin this dream this whole but they're coming for their own financial gain. However, if you do and go on a path that the vine is trying to tell you to go on, you're going to get the financial gain. Don't make an error in judgment with this person because this was an abusive relationship. And from what this is showing is going to be more abusive. Um, it's time to move on from this and stop wasting your resources on this person. When this person left, one of the things um, that you can tell if this was an abusive person and this, that this person was not for you is that you had scattered thoughts. You had to take the time to get your mind together. This person confused you. You were confused all the time. You didn't know whether you were coming or going. They would say one thing and do another. They would say one thing at one time and then say something else at another time. They promised you teamwork, but you never got it. Um, you felt unfulfilled in the relationship. You felt blocked and clouded. And you might not have even been someone who was blocked and clouded before because you were resourceful. You were a resourceful person. But God is giving you 
and, and, and Holy Spirit is giving you illumination spiritually. Spiritual illumination into this person. Part of that spiritual illumination is the fact that you've come to this channel. It's, it's not by happenstance that you came to this channel. You needed some answers. You were asking for answers. And Holy Spirit sent you to me for those answers. All right. Holy Spirit, are there any other messages? All right. This person knows that you're self-sufficient. Holy Spirit did. And he's trying to bring you long-term security. He's trying to renew your spirit and so you can recover what you lost during that because there is success here because since this person left, you have been on a quest for personal truth. You've been wondering why you went through this. You know, you were wondering why this person left. Why did you have to go through like this? Because it was divinely orchestrated to put you on the path that you need to go through, go on. Um, it was divinely orchestrated for you to meet this person, for you to go through this, so you can step into the power and the purpose that you were supposed to step into, because you are a great person. Um, you know, the, the, the villain doesn't come just to anybody. They come to somebody who's powerful, who has a, a, a awesome destiny. Um, so I do thank you for coming and listening to this message, and I will see you next time.